Welcome to Art, Culture and Books with me, Anthony King. Today I'll be taking you on a video and photographic tour of the 1939 Dalton House Freeze by Gilbert Bays at the Victoria and Albert Museum. As always, I take all the photos and videos myself on location, ensuring that you get an up-close and personal view of the fascinating world of art and culture. I'll be popping in and out with commentary as this video progresses, but for now, let's take a close-up look. Gilbert Bays, a distinguished British sculptor of the earliest 20th century, was renowned for his ability to breathe life and emotion into his creations. He left an indelible mark on the artistic landscape with a career that traversed the arts and craft era, the new sculpture movement, and the art deco period. Among Gilbert's most renowned public creations is the Queen of Time Clock fusion of bronze and ceramics adorning the facade of Selfridge's department store on Oxford Street in London. In a previous video, we looked at his bronze sculpture, The Frog Princess, which is at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, so make sure to take a look at that video if you haven't seen it before. In the late 1970s, as Dalton House in Lambeth faced demolition, Gilbert's monumental frieze, depicting the evolution of pottery through the ages, was rescued. Originally part of Royal Dalton's headquarters on the Albert Embankment, the building, designed by architect T.P. Bennett, stood as a distinctive example of Art Deco architecture in London. The modernist facade featured cream, black and gold ceramic panels, becoming a recognisable landmark facing Lambeth Bridge and the Thames. Dalton House, home to Gilbert Bays' celebrated 50-foot frieze, met its end in the late 1970s. The artistic masterpiece, symbolic of Art Deco excellence, was salvaged during the builder's dismantling. Royal Dalton, a renowned English ceramic manufacturer, later donated the frieze to the V&A in 1988. Now predominantly displayed at the entrance to the ceramics gallery, the frieze's relocation ensures its continued cultural significance. Ironbridge Gorge Museum played a crucial role in preserving two friezes from Dalton House, spearheaded by Paul Atterbury, former head of Royal Dalton's historical department. The salvaging effort secured these cultural artefacts. You've been joined today by Anthony King, but now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on Dalton House Freeze by Gilbert Bays at the Victoria and Albert Museum? Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to hear your comments, thoughts and views below. Join my Patreon to help the channel and for exclusive behind the scenes content. Or if you'd like, you can make a direct PayPal donation. The link is in my channel description. You can find out more about me on my website, anthony-king.com, where you can purchase one of my books.